What is crack lacking guys and welcome back to another episode of UFC Dream Fights. We have a little a little fun match up today. We have Francis the Predator and Ganu against the notorious Conor McGregor. So as you can see Francis and Ganu is a boxer four and a half stars and Conor McGregor is a kickboxer also four and a half stars. Francis and Ganu is a 255 pound heavyweight. Conor McGregor is one a 155 pound lightweight so Ngannou has about 100 pounds on him but we're gonna see how this fight goes down two of the hardest hitters in their respective divisions two of the best strikers in the history of the UFC so yeah let's see how this fight goes down let's see the height difference the age difference is one year the height difference is 18 centimeters and the reach advantage for Ngannou is, I'm trying to do it, work it out of my maths right now, 23 centimeters. 23 centimeters in reach, 18 centimeters in height. But Conor McGregor accepted the fight. He thinks he can defeat Francis Ngannou. So here we go. Speed is obviously there with Conor McGregor. But the power is obviously there with Francis Ngannou. Surprised Ngannou hasn't just gone for the kill already. He usually does in the first 15 seconds of the fight. Good combos from Connor. Good straight and good combinations there from Francis. Connor does not look phase. Oh, beautiful elbow from Connor McGregor there. My days, imagine if Connor McGregor actually knocks down Francis. Francis just looks too slow at the moment for Connor. Good body punch. A good straight back from Francis. Both men do tend to slow down after the first round. But to get through the first round with either men, with either man is just crazy. McGregor's nose has been busted up already. It looks broken. Not quite Mike Perry broken, but still broken. Well, McGregor's lasted longer than most heavyweights against Francis so far. And he's doing well. Oh, but another straight to the nose. Oh, beautiful uppercut, and Francis is going in for the kill now. On the backing up, his movement is so good. Arguably the best movement in the history of the UFC, besides Dominic Reyes. Take his body out! Yeah. Here, Connor's coach is saying, take the body out. Yeah. Connor's doing well. He's been rocked, but to, get, to not get knocked out from Francis, it's an achievement on its own. Let's go for the clinch. I don't know why. Beautiful combinations there from Connor. Well, we predicted this will be a kickboxing fight. Oh, just boxing. No, no kicks. Oh, beautiful combo from Connor to end the round. Well, it's a Francis and Gardner round. No doubt, he did rock Conor McGregor. It wasn't a shutout by any stretch of the imagination. Here we go, round two. Side kick from Conor. Good movement. In case you didn't know already, I'm obviously not controlling any of the fighters. Just, uh, Computer on legendary difficulty for both fighters. 
Oh, beautiful combination there with a hook kick to finish it off. Conor McGregor now going for the legs. Oh, he just ate an uppercut from Francis Ngannou. Not many live to tell the tale of an uppercut. Just ask Alistair Overeem. Oh, beautiful overhand from Conor. Francis is struggling with the movement. He is hitting Connor, but maybe one in every three. Oh, beautiful hook there. Lead hook from Francis. Gregor with the uppercut. But there just looks to be no damage on Francis and Gano. There's blood on his trunks, but I'm pretty sure that's Conor McGregor's blood. And a beautiful head kick. Oh, beautiful duck from Conor McGregor and lands a hook. His, mo his movement's just so swift in the octagon. A beautiful overhand. This could be the end now. McGregor dodging most of them. But he's looking wobbly. He's fighting back with all he can. Ducks under another kick, and Ngannou, his stamina, is looking really low. Beautiful duck again from Connor. Take his body out. Go for the hook. Oh, beautiful uppercut and a beautiful body shot as well. And this could be the end. I'm going to go in for the kill. Put McGregor backing up once again. Good leg kick. Oh, and he knocked McGregor down with that straight. McGregor's never been knocked out. All his four losses have come by way of submission. Take his body out. the end of the second round. Francis Ngannou round once again, but he does seem to be slowing down. He's struggling with the speed of Conor McGregor. He can't seem to finish it off. Oh, straight lands on Conor's nose. That nose looks really broken now. Conor's still standing in the pocket of Ngannou, and he's landing. Oh, beautiful kick. There's not as much spring in Ngannou's step now. He does look a bit more tired. But he's still landing combinations on McGregor. Oh, beautiful overhand knocks McGregor down once again. Are they going to go to the ground? No, they're not. Oh, beautiful elbow in the clinch from Ngannou. Can he end this now? McGregor's defending well, and a body shot. McGregor's doing really, really well in this fight. Beautiful combinations to the face. Oh, just imagine if McGregor rocks Ngannou. That's what McGregor needs to do. He needs to slip to the side as Ngannou comes in with a straight and then he can unleash exactly what he did against Eddie Alvarez when he won the second title. Going for the leg now of Ngannou. Or the tree trunk, I guess you could say. Legs are so thick. And he knocks McGregor down once again. McGregor comes back with a hook. Oh, and McGregor looks to be on wobbly legs, but he just gets up straight away. Oh, 
beautiful. McGregor going to the body and going to the head. Oh, beautiful overhand. Knocks McGregor down for the third or fourth time in this round. And there we go. Conor McGregor has been knocked out in the third round by Francis Ngannou. Not many fighters in their lifetime, not many men in their lifetime will go that long with Francis Ngannou. So a lot of praise to Conor McGregor tonight. Definitely. Wow. His movement was so good, but he eventually ate one too many shots from Francis. But usually one is too many. So the fact that he took like 50 odd is very impressive. But yeah, there we go boys and girls, that's how it would end if these two got into the octagon together. Please like and subscribe to the channel down below if you are new. Make sure you turn on the bell to keep notified if and when I upload my next video. And until then, adios amigos.